Hi, everyone. Look, North Carolinians, I am so sorry that all of this is taking place. Uh, pig excrement spills into North Carolina. Well, it's not just the pigs, the hogs, but apparently you have sewage plants across the state that have flooded, releasing millions of gallons of partially treated human discharge. 17 hog waste lagoons were compromised. And this is what happened during Floyd years ago. You would think that North Carolina would have regulated, mandated these poultry farms, the hog farms, and the sewage plants to upgrade so that you would never have to deal with this again. Oh, that's right, climate change, oh my God, brings about massive, unprecedented flooding from a hurricane. And hurricanes are mostly associated with high winds. High winds, not, not this kind of flooding. All right. Um, well, this isn't very good for you. What I find very interesting is that they're not telling you where these hog farms or the sewage plants are. The link in this article is to your uh, to a government site. It has a flood inundation map and a locator tool. But I went to the locator tool and well, doesn't give any information about where these hog farms or sewage plants that are overflowing. You, 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 I don't know. I don't know. The map might be useful in terms of um, looking at it and hopefully they update this to find out what rivers are going to be overflowing. Um, and <clears throat> unfortunately you got bacteria, uh, E. coli. You've got a lot to worry about with what is in the flood water and then what it is you're drinking. Uh, two confirmed lagoon breaches, including a Dublin County site that contains more than 300,000 cubic feet of waste, flooded out. It's a total loss. Uh, this is the only area that's named. Duplin County. The hog waste contains E. coli bacteria. Sewage overflows combined with high flood waters bring the prospect of ecological impacts including fish kills, humans coming into contact with fecal matter, risks, viruses, parasitic infections, and rashes, nasty pathogens. Well, what we have been seeing Certainly, Harvey, the floodwaters were contaminated. This happens over and over again. Oh, uh, the other thing that I want to bring to your attention is the uh, New Hanover County and Wilmington, which are mostly cut off, open distribution centers for meals, water, tarps, to supply 60,000 people for four days. Can't anyone who lives close to Wilmington uh, get down there to see what the hell is happening. Apparently there is one unidentified road that has opened. And there's no information about any other road that has opened. Are they literally sealing off every road that goes into Wilmington? Boy, I would love to see video of that. Um, 1.7 million chickens dead. Drown. So, it's a repeat of your Floyd, Hurricane Floyd. And it really is astounding. You know, you pay high taxes for what? Nothing. Because you're not protected at all. So after Floyd, that contaminated so much 
of the water, the hog farms, the chicken carcasses, the hog carcasses, the waste, you would have thought that they would have required something other than what you have because they're still spilling over. All right. Um, I also, you know, it, it's just amazing to me. Look at, look at Wilmington. Here's, or Trenton. Okay. Is Trenton in Wilmington? This is a picture that mainstream media uses over and over again. Emergency crews throw supply lifeline to isolated Wilmington. Um, the city surrounded by floodwaters, emergency crews deliver food and water. Uh, I'm really worried about what's happening there. Wilmington's entire population of 120,000 people were cut off by flooding by midday Monday, yesterday. Authorities reopened a single unidentified road into the town, which stands on a peninsula. But it was in, but it wasn't clear if that route would remain open as the Cape Fear River keeps swelling. And officials did not say when other roads might be clear. So the press is allowed in. Oh, mainstream media press. And take a look. Producer with the Associated Press. I'm here with. I don't care what he has to say. Um, it's. It looks as if the water was just literally dumped. And there doesn't seem to be any debris in the water. Now, a hurricane is associated with very, very high winds. The roofs are still intact. The trees are fine. You don't even see leaves in this water. So, I ask, hmm, what is going on? I also want to bring your attention to um, Flying Cuttlefish. This uh, blog, and I want to, he or she, and I think it's a she because they left this link underneath my video, and I think the name was Miss Frill, so I'm going to assume it's a, a woman. Um, was Wilmington, North Carolina hit with a rain deluge and not a hurricane? I want to thank everyone who posts information showing the quote-unquote anomalies taking place. Um, it's really important to get out information. You know, it's uh, very hard to circulate this kind of information far and wide, but if we have more people circulating it or actually posting information, we there's a ripple effect. We, we reach more people. So we ask how much wind did North Carolina get along the coast? Did they even get a hurricane force? Uh, anything. Um, so these posts here, these pictures, and they point out hurricanes, okay? You got winds, you've got roofs blown over, you've got trees blown over, you've got leaves off trees. Um, here, this is Wilmington from, uh, you know, helicopter footage. The ducks are okay on the roofs of these businesses. Trees still have leaves, perfect roofs, cars with windshields, these signs are still standing. Everything looks completely intact. And no debris, no debris in the water. But, you know, I've pointed this out before. 
you look at the drone footage of these flooded areas and you will see just pockets of flood and the flood does not look very high here by the way you know remember Harvey um, where you know you could just see the tippy top of a road sign all right look at all of these signs look at these bushes the water is not very high and there's no water back here okay so the flood this picture of a flood is just it looks like it's just this road and then it goes inland and maybe there's a flood back here but you can see where the it looks like the flood went up you see the dark line at the bottom of this building so the flood water was not even that high and it's receded and yet Wilmington is already is still locked down Lock, it's a lockdown of Wilmington a military lockdown you know you see grass over here alright so the flooding here is not all that bad um, and he points out that this is St. Martin or she points out I'm sorry St. Martin the Hurricane Irma that hit St. Martin look at all of the roofs you know they're gone many of the you know, look at all of the structural damage you know this is what hurricanes can do well I guess I guess uh, Florence was different you know it was just different um, here look at the boats North Carolina these little lightweight motorboats are all undisturbed they aren't even out of place, not flipped over, pushed onto each other, or upside down. I have posted videos looking at the webcams, live webcams, of several coastal areas, North Carolina, Myrtle Beach. Marinas have live webcams, and nothing was out of place. The boats were absolutely fine. No sorry this was not a hurricane because this is what happens with hurricanes the boats are all over the place boy oh boy is this really look at this no structural damage and Wilmington it looks like a Many of the roads are not horrendous flooding. You know, it, it, when you think about Harvey, when you think about Katrina, when you think about Baton Rouge, when you think about, you know, all of the flooding in Louisiana, um, what is going on here that this, this entire area has to be shut down, locked down, isolated from the world?
God, please, any of you in North Carolina, can you drive down, check out what's going on? Ciao, guys.